amapa ediane uku rice water wheat. She first came to Tema from the then Bonahafu region to help an aunt. After two years, she moved to another relative, an uncle, from where her journey in search of independence began. A few menial jobs, some advice from one Madame Beatrice Kwanza, is what turned around the story of Madame Minata Pemasole positively. With a borrowed cooking pot, a pertinence of seed money, mobilized from family and benevolent friends, and a big dream, Madame Minata started her cocoa business. When she started, all she knew was the cocoa and not the kose or any other accompaniment. But that was not a setback. She strategically collaborated with the woman at a shaman in Accra who supplied the kose. But when the woman passed away unexpectedly, she had to learn how to prepare it herself and has added on over the years. She now sells all kinds of cereals, oats, oblayu, Ekwegbemi, Tom Brown, rice water, and her main meal, Hausa Koko, and prepares the various accompaniments herself. At midnight, work begins. With the exception of the Hausa Koko, all other porridges need no prior preparation. The main ingredient, millet, is washed and sorted to remove all foreign materials, stones and chaps, and then soaked in water overnight. After this, the water is drained and the local spices added, after which it is sent to the mill. By 3.30 a.m., packaging of the varieties of porridge are ready for transportation to various outlets, with a bulk going to its headquarters, Tema. Madame Minata says, startup is never child's play, but nothing beats a determined soul. She says, though she started her business with very little, through strategic thinking, hard work and perseverance, today she has a sound business. I am able to pay my bills through this business. From under the mango tree where she first pitched her stand to sell cocoa in a calabash, her brand has transformed, making the Minata cocoa packaging more noticeable from other cocoa labels. She believes her unique packaging is a magnet to her customers. She explains how it all began. Madame Minata says it is possible, no matter the circumstance, to be financially independent. For her, her lack of education was not a barrier to living her dream, since equal opportunities abound in the informal sector. <laughs> With determination and prayer, one can make profit from any business, no matter how small. Just like any success story, Minata says in every endeavor, there are challenges that require determination, willpower, and strategic thinking to surmount them. Though she has broken many barriers to achieve some level of success, she says access to substantial bank loans remains a big challenge because she's in the informal sector. From running simple errands to pushing trucks, her children, who are now enjoying the fruits of their mother's labor, once upon a time saw her struggles in the early days of her cocoa business. But now, they are proud of her persistent efforts and how it is paying off. Now turned into a family business, Madame Minata and her three daughters are optimistic of taking the cocoa across the country and even beyond our frontiers. For many, all that is needed is a serving of cocoa and kose to break the fast in appreciation of the hard work that goes into the making of this delicacy. Michelin Taka, GBC.